Hey folks, welcome back to Star Control. So, let's go ahead. Um, I have made a bit of a to-do list for this one. So, the first thing that we're going to do today is we're going to go to save the Zogfort, because that's the promise that we've given. Apparently the Zogfort and the Pick are being attacked by the Kora. I believe that's what the case that's what's the case there. And um Yeah, we're gonna go there. We might actually I'm probably gonna try to go through quasi space to go there. Uh yeah, so that's the first thing that we're gonna do. We're gonna see how much time this takes us. Um I think I'm going to take that opportunity to also try to talk to the Cora. Somebody has said that in the YouTube comments that I should definitely do that. So um if we meet Cora there, which we probably will, we're gonna to try to talk to them. As well as the Urk one, maybe, if we if we meet them. We're gonna see. So we're going to try that. Uh we're gonna probably try to get there via quasi quasi space. So uh, that should that should work. Um, the second thing that I have uh, that I have on my to do list is to see about the show fixty thing. Um, I have rewatched the video where I talked to the admiral, and the admiral said um, it is a yellow light. It basks in yellow light, so it's probably a yellow sun, and a long creature who has swallowed a huge beast. Um, we're going to take a look at the star map again, because I think that's the information we get. That's all the information we get. We don't have any, um, like the, the Mel Norm, the Mel Normy weren't really willing to tell us anything. So I have no idea, but, uh, I think that's the information. So I don't know, maybe we can find something that looks like that. I didn't, um, I think the last time I looked, I didn't think about the yellow light part of it because, uh, yeah. And uh, another thing that we could do, that we know now, is the Cyrene, which were also old allies, and they are at Beetlejuice. So we could go there as well. But first, uh, we're gonna have to deal with the Zogfot thing. Probably gonna have to fight some Kora while we're at it. So let's depart the Starbase. We're gonna go to a hyperspace. And in hyperspace, we're going to try the portal spawner. I don't think we've done that yet. So uh, let's see how that works. It will cost us 10 fuel, I think. So we should be able to do this with not that many resources. Manifest. Also, another comment has told me to take a look at my roster. Uh, yeah, I can check my ships. Oh, I can... I can take crew of these ships and put them in my in my main ship, huh? I think I can't do that right now because I'm at 100 crew. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that would have... Uh, knowing that would have helped. So yeah, uh, because somebody else has asked, uh, those kinds of sort of mechanical spoilers are alright with me in this game. I don't, I don't mind those. Uh, thanks everybody for doing that. You know, if I'm just missing things because I'm too dense about the game, not about the story and stuff like that, you can let me know. It's, it's fine. Um, I welcome that. So, um, what did I want to do? Devices, quasi portal. Okay, and that just immediately takes us here. Okay. So another thing that somebody has told me is that I should not actually look for quasi-space maps because they are full of spoilers, generally. So I'm not gonna. So we're just gonna have to do this on our own. So we're gonna make a save here and we're gonna look through everything that takes us closer to the Zogfot, I guess. So I believe, if I remember correctly, this one here was is the one that takes us to earth if i remember correctly i think that's the one let's see where this one takes us um oh that's down here in vox space okay that's cool we're gonna have to we're gonna have to take that once we have the the maidens probably later on that's interesting okay and uh, now we're gonna load again and we're just gonna look until we find this so let's do the third one of the three 
There's just like this little constellation of three, three portals here, right? So let's do that one. And then we're just gonna go through all of them and see where they take us. That's gonna take a while, probably. Okay, where are we now? Oh, this is already the one. This is the one that takes us to... Okay, cool. Zogfort. Where were the Zogfort Alpha Tukene? I forgot what that was. Cassiopeia. Alpha Cassiopeia. Was it the... It was one of the... Oh, Beta Tukene. Alpha Tukene. There we go. So we're gonna go there. Now we're probably gonna have to deal with... Also, I'm gonna save my game before we continue. Um... Then we're probably gonna have to deal with some Urquan and some Ojia. Okay, I think I'm going to try to get around these. These are gonna be Urquan and Korra and stuff like that. Uh, star map, where is Alpha Tukene? Yeah, let's do this again. Put the autopilot back on. Oh yeah, there's a lot of them. That's probably what this is. Okay, I think it was the first... Yeah, that's what I noted down. It was the first planet. So let's go there. So I'm just using a Google Doc at this point <laughs> with all my notes in it. Um, that's the moon, right? That's not what we're looking for? No. Did we already scan this? There's an auric world and there's nothing in it, so we probably already did that. Um, okay, we get, uh, we get the encounter thing. Hmm. And these are indeed Korra. We haven't conversed with the Korra yet, so let's do this. We are the Urquan Korra. Yeah. We cleanse our destiny. You will soon die. Make whatever rituals are necessary for your species. Okay. Um, they also talk through like the little brown thing. What you're doing is wrong. Why do you do this thing? What are you hanging over? Please don't destroy this ship. We mean you no harm. Okay, what you're doing is wrong. Let's plead with the them. Words. The words, the words. Alien, you have spoken the words. Mm. You have spoken them rightly. We will explain to you about the Dinyari, our slave masters. Oh dear, okay. Taelo, our only friends, whom we exterminated. Okay. And our reasons why we cleanse the galaxy of all other sentient life. Oh shit. Okay, that's what they're doing, huh? This before, over 20,000 years ago. Your words. <clears throat> why do you do this thing? Echo that ancient plea. You see, alien, we were a proud and mighty race. Okay. Who were cruelly enslaved. For thousands of years, we had no free will. We were nothing more than tools. Never again will anyone enslave our people. We cleanse the galaxy of such threats. Okay, so they cleansed the galaxy of all sentient life, huh? And the the green folks, the Urquan, I guess the other Urquan, in that way, they enslave, right? So this is sort of... Um, they are at war with each other. So probably if the Korra win that war, that's probably going to be bad. That's probably going to be trouble. Because uh, they're probably just going to go ahead and murder everything, right? Whew! That's... Okay, now we can actually talk about... Talk to them. Tell us about yourselves. The Taelo. The, yeah, who or what are the Dinyari? How did you defeat... Okay. Let's hope we can do all of these. We evolved on a hostile world, the descendants of solitary hunters. In a world where one species is the dominant killer, one's only threat is one's brother, one's mm -hmm. sister, anyone of one's species. Civilization did not come easily to us. We earned it. We mastered our hatreds and murderous desires to form a mighty culture. In those ancient days, there was no core ah uh, or Kazerza. Only What's Kazerza? We explored our world and okay. the space beyond. Here we met the six races of the sentient milieu. Here okay. We met the Tailo, the only species we ever called friend. Uh -huh. 
Our association with the Tai Lo and the Milieu lasted for 3,000 years. We, the Urquan, who could not tolerate the presence of others, became the Milieu's scouts. They're solitary explorers. Okay, we're gonna get a lot of lore here. Hmm. Of all the species we have met, only the Tai Lo did not trigger our instinctive territoriality. They were the only people we could stand with, or talk to, without the hunter inside us screaming, kill the interloper, rip out its life. They are bad news. We believe that the same factors that made the Tai Lo non-threatening to us, their unusual rock-like biology, mm. also gave the Tai Lo natural immunity to the Dinyari's psychic compulsion. Yeah, the Dinyari. The Dinyari would not permit this. After they had conquered all six of the other races in the milieu, they commanded us to attack the Taelo, and we did. The Taelo would not fight back. They died. Oh dear, yeah, that, that is rough. So the Dinyari were mind controllers, huh? And they... They enslaved the Urquan and made the Urquan kill their friends because they were immune to them. Okay. To the mind control. Planet fall that one of our milieu scout ships first met the Dinyari, the creatures you know as our talking pets. Oh! But the Dinyari were different then. They were evilly intelligent and wielded psychic powers okay. to control the minds of others. So these are the Dinyari. They wanted to rule the universe. We had no choice but to give it to them. Our Urquan scout ships transported the Dinyari through the milieu. Ooh. The war for dominance, such as it was, was quick and bloodless. Within weeks, the Dinyari controlled all races but one, the Taelo. Okay. Who? For thousands of years, we were unthinking slaves to the Dinyari. Like the five other surviving races of the old milieu, we had no choice. The Dinyari's compulsion was too strong to resist. But the Dinyari were not satisfied with their slave races. Yuli and the Draw were inferior, they decided. And so they instructed us to incinerate their worlds. And we did. <laughs> okay. The Dinyari had a special liking for us, Ur Kwan. So they began to tinker with our genes. To improve us. Hmm. Their favored slaves. Their efforts to split the Ur Kwan into two sub-races. The Green Ur Kwan. Effect scientists and bureaucrats, uh. and the Black Urquan, their effectuators, the builders, the okay. fighters, the doers. The core are, are the Black Urquan. Uh, okay. The Kazerts are the green. I grow tired of talking alien, and your time grows short. I will continue for but a moment longer. When we discovered that intense pain could block the Dinyari's mental powers, Ooh. we were able to destroy them, but it took years. Can you imagine, Alien, what it must have been Ooh. like to wear an excruciator, to live in endless screaming pain for months on end? No, you cannot. <laughs> okay, so that's what's going on, huh? So, they were enslaved by the Dinyari, and they could... They could free themselves from them by enduring intense pain. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so we have the Kora and the Urquan, or the um, the other Urquan, the Xerza, right? The green ones, the black and the green ones. And the green ones want to go around and enslave planets, and they want to go around and murder everything. And I, I guess they are at war over this. So, okay. We are probably gonna have to find a way to make the Korra not win that war, I guess? Because that's probably gonna be bad news when, once that happens, and apparently they are winning. Um, there's some more stuff. Somebody else noted something. Yeah, the talking pet. Right, the... So, the talking pets are the Dinyari. And the Ari Luz mentioned that they left a talking pet with the Umgar, right. 
which is a translator. And they, are, they have been using these as translators, right? And uh, But I did not know that they were Dinaris. So maybe we need to get that somehow. That seems that seems important. We need to get that pet from the Umgar, I suppose. That's still the okay. Oh dear, that's a lot. Okay, but now we actually, I think I actually kind of know what the threat is now, right? So if 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 we were if we were to do nothing at all. What will probably happen is that the Korra would win the war at some point and then go on to wipe out all life in the galaxy, right? That's the that's what they will do, will do. And we're going to have to do something to prevent that. Okay. Now I know that. Um, I knew that you can lose this game. That if you don't do the right things at some point, everything is over. So, uh, and I guess that's what that is then. Okay, now it also makes sense that the Urquan are gone. Wow, this is an this is a this is great. Okay, we'll just leave now. It is not. Oh, okay. There is more you must hear. When the war was over, the great core Ah rose from our ranks and declared the path of now and forever. We would cleanse the galaxy. No one would ever threaten the Urquan this way mm. again. We had cleansed one of the three remaining milieu races, and were in orbit around a second's home world. From the surface came a plea, identical to the words you spoke a few moments ago. Uh -huh. The one-eyed creatures, the male Lum, asked so simply, so clearly, that we felt compelled to explain. While we did uh, so, okay. Zar appeared. They would not permit us to destroy, they said. Enslave, yes. Imprison, yes. But never destroy. The moment was tense. Okay. Someone opened fire. The first doctrinal war had begun. While we fought, the male Nom escaped. We never found them again. When our battle was done, we, the core R, were defeated. However, the Kazertsa let us go. We were exiled. We traveled through space. We built the strength of our battle fleets and continued our plan to cleanse threats from the galaxy for all Ur Quan. You have heard our words, and perhaps you understand us a bit better. I do. But now it's kind of it's time for us to cleanse. <laughs> To cleanse you, okay, and now we'll have to fight, huh? Yeah, um, that is interesting. Oh, I love it. I love this. How complex they make the villains. Like they're not just villains. You actually, you can actually kind of understand where they're coming from. So there's these male num. They escape, and the Kora never found them again. So I think the first war with the Urquan, where we got enslaved by the Urquan, that happened while the Kora were gone and rebuilding, and now the Kora have come back and are battling the Urquan in what is now probably the second war, the second doctrinal war, and now they are winning. So um, if they win, they will wipe out all sentient life in the galaxy, I guess. And that is that. Male Num. Okay, we're gonna have to... Have I wrote something down about them before? Hitwig Druge? No. I think that's the first time we've heard about them. So they are somewhere. But they are not... Yeah, they are somewhere. Maybe we need to find them at some point. Uh, but first, let's kill us some Korra, I guess. Ooh. Oh yeah, right. I thought that worked. Ooh, that's probably bad! Okay, alright. We lost a bunch of crew, but... Oh no! I... We lost so much crew. Our savior, our savior. Okay. You have rescued us from certain destruction. Howie, baby! That was a close one! The black ship appeared in orbit several days ago and began raining down bolts of destructive that energy on the surface of our planet. Fortunately, <laughs> we were able to focus our planetary shield to deflect the energy blasts away from our city. Unfortunately, large sections of our planet's beautiful wilderness have been annihilated. Entire ecosystems destroyed. Oh. Oh dear. That makes me really mad. 
bad. I mean, attacking helpless, intelligent alien species, that's one thing. But toasting our cute little wood jukes and train arms, that is really low. If the black ship had been accompanied by others of its kind, we wouldn't have been able to stop the reign of destruction. They would have killed us all. Well, in that case, better those jukes and narfs than us, right? Captain, <laughs> it is clear that in oh the war, you are more capable than ourselves. With this in mind, we would like to give you our four finest starships and... Oh, do we have enough room for those? Try not to lose them all right away. Okay, so we have a bunch of Zog 4 chips now. Um, I need to I need to train with these. I need to do some super meleeing. I've still not done that. Um, been pretty Nothing. Are you crazy? What about the Frungi Championships? Okay, I think this is done now. The Earth Captain E one thing. Oh yeah. Because the Frungi, I think. Nobody with any brains is interested. Well, I love. Oh, well, he wouldn't know any of the. Okay, that's the Frungi. Anything new about no, the wall? No. Okay, that was just that thing. We just needed to save them, huh? Probably, if we hadn't saved them, they would have been killed. And now we got those ships, so that's nice. See ya. See ya. Okay, so that's that. Problem is, I lost a lot of crew. I lost 45 crew in that fight. That's still pretty rough. We're gonna have to find better ways to fight them. Uh, but let me quickly check. So if we, for example, took the Earthling ship... No. Oh yeah, we can do that. So we can take some crew from that and do it like that. Okay, I see. Yeah, let's do that for the time being. I don't think I'm going to use the Earthling ship right now. So, uh, I think we're done here then. I think we did it. Yeah. Okay, let's save the game. Stream 33. Style map. Okay. Folks. I guess we're going to do the show fixy thing yet. Okay, so this is Beetlejuice here, right? Was that Beetlejuice? Yeah. We actually took a look at that before. So we need a... Let me open... I, I always forget to open the map before we start. Um, one second. Maybe we can see it better on that. Star Control 2. So we are looking for a yellow world that has been swallowed by a small um, thing. And I guess we're gonna have to find that just from that information? Or maybe, maybe there's something else. Yellow world, yellow world. So, let me check that. Right, yellow. They can have different sizes, obviously. Uh, light me. Oops. Let me see. So these are yellow worlds, I believe. Orange are different, right? Yeah, there's also orange. So it's not... So it's not those. Those are orange and those are yellow. So we're looking for a yellow world that looks like it was swallowed by a... By a thing. <laughs> by a long... By a long beast. I mean, obviously down here with the Yihad we have Serpentis, which would make sense in terms of long beast, but... No, that's Scooty. Serpentis is this here. I don't think there's a yellow world in Serpentis. Gamma Serpentis? Is that yellow? I think, no, I think that wasn't actually it. I think we looked there and there was nothing, right? Wasn't that sort of my idea? Hmm. So, long, there's obviously this here, the Kali stars that are over here. But there's nothing. Yeah, this is just like a randomly Ptolemy. Swallowed by a long beast. What's this down here? I mean, that's a large yellow RA, beta RA. Is there anything on this? It's just like a remote system way over there. 
Don't think this is anything. Yellow by a long beast. Hyades. Delta Aquilae. Does this work? Alpha Apodis? No, not really. This. No. No, that doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Delta Illuminati, but there's no long beast. What's this? Alpha Aridiani. There's also, this is like right in Korra territory. I don't think that's... Okay, now we actually know what Korra territory is, huh? By the way. <laughs> now that we've talked to them. What's this up here? Linkis. Epsilon Link. Maybe this? There's kind of a long thing here. Epsilon Linkus, Delta Linkus, Gamma Linkus. Right, like, this could be a long thing here, and then this would be swallowed by it. I mean, these are, are yellow stars. But that's just so... It just doesn't make much sense. A long beast. The only thing that makes sense is Serpentis, but that wasn't it. Like, we've tried that. We should probably safe scum this. You know, just try a few and see whether we're gonna find this. Um, like, we could try this one. Beta Apodis or Alpha Apodis. I think Alpha Apodis is kind of a big yellow star. Yeah, and this is Draconis. This is is this all around Lambda Draconis Delta? Like a dragon would also be sort of if you think of dragon as uh, sort of the more the You know, dragons can also be kind of snake-like, right? And, and, and like snakes around here. Yeah, if you look at... Okay, if you look at this, this actually kind of works. Alright, I guess we're gonna try this first. Um, we're gonna safe scum this a little. If it isn't that, I'm just gonna reload. And I'm gonna go for the other thing. The thing is, this is also an unknown race here. Which could be interesting. Maybe we're gonna find something interesting there as well. If we do, we're not gonna re um, we're not gonna reload or anything. Uh, if not, we're gonna reload, and I'm gonna try. Oops, star map. I'm gonna try this, and I'm going to try this. I think both seem kind of. Vaguely plausible. I think this one this one seems better to me. Apodis in Draconis. Apodis in Draconis. Yes, indeed. Okay, so we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go to hyperspace. Then we're gonna take a portal again and see if any portal takes us closer to that. Um, I guess. Okay, game. Save game. I'm gonna do this. Because we have something that those guys don't, we can use the device, we can use a quasi-portal. Even if they're coming after us, they can't come after us. So, let's just try out a few. So we did those three down here, right? So the one was Earth, the other one... Oops, Jesus Christ, I'm wasting time. Let me load this again. Um, devices, quasi-portal. Let's save here. Star map. Okay, so we did those three. Unknown, unknown, unknown. So this one takes us to Earth. This one to the Zogfort, I believe. And what was the third one? Uh, 
Like we did this earlier, but I totally forgot again. It took us somewhere. I forgot. Ah, screw it, whatever. It wasn't anywhere, I think, close to where we want to go. So let's check out the two down here. Let's go to this one first. And if it takes us anywhere, if we can't do it, we're gonna... We're just gonna load. I think this is how we're gonna do this now. Um, right, if we get close to Apodis, or if we get close to, what was that, Linkus, we're gonna try it. Oh, don't waste your time. Okay, this is up here in Korra space. This would be kind of closer to Alpha Apodis. Okay, let's see what the other one is. It's still quite a quite a distance away, so uh, maybe maybe we can take this one. Maybe we can take this one. Let me check. Let me check this one. Um, okay, this is way over here, Arcturus. Okay, just in the middle of nowhere, essentially. Interesting. So this one may be a Podis, huh? Let's check quickly these ones over here. Okay, this is right in the middle of Iraq territory. Makes sense. I think I've tried this one before. Um, and there's the four over here. I think I might be able to learn this, actually. Oh, no, don't. Oh, we're just trying, we're just trying. Okay, star map. Well, that's down here. Camelopardalis. Which is in Korra space. Okay. Um, that was this one. Let's take the top one of those four. Let's see. If anything gets us closer to Apolis, we're going to take that. If not, we're going to take the one star map. Oh, this is right down here in the... What was that? Gru is that in Sparthi? Where the Sparthi used to be, that is. Right, Gru is, yeah, that's right where the Sparthi, Sparthi used to be. Okay. Well, that has been a bust. At least a Sparthi thing. Problem is, Sparthi folks, the slave shield is not gonna help you if the Korra win the war. You're gonna die anyways. That's kind of your big problem. That you don't know about it yet, but you're kind of still depending on me to do this. Oh, now we are right up here. That's good. Should we just try this? Let's try this real quick. What is this? Gamma Linkus. Alright. Do we need to check the planets? I guess we're gonna have to check the planets, right? And find something. I don't know. Yeah, that's just a gas giant. All right. I guess we're going to do this first. And otherwise, I think the the one thing that took us to Apodis was. Uh, I think that's probably going to be it. I'm doing this first because I think this is probably not going to be it. The Apodis thing just makes too much sense. Allied world. We're gonna get some radioactives out of this, so let's do this. It's cold. Just a little bit of tectonics. Easy peasy. Gonna cost us some fuel, I guess, but not much. All right, that definitely wasn't it. There's was nothing here. At least it's not like a billion planets. It's just three planets, I think, yeah. So we can just quickly get this out of the way and hope that it is somewhere. I think there wasn't anything on this. There was just a Sumerian world. Yeah, those are useless, generally. Get some biology here. No, nothing. There's just nothing here. Okay, cool. Yeah, maybe this isn't it, actually. The other one, I think, was also a yellow world, so we're gonna have to try this one as well. And maybe the one that is inside of the long thing, maybe swallowed means that, not that it is enveloped, but that it is inside of the thing. 
Crimson World. Yeah, no. That's too close for... Uh, too cold, not close. Jesus Christ, Jay. Too cold for that. For any life or anything here, so whatever. I think this isn't it. Yeah, this might not be what we're looking for, actually. And let's go here. Also a yellow word. Let's try this one. Oh yeah, there's not a lot going on here. That's good. That's good. Oh. There we go. I don't think this might be it. I don't think this is it. I don't think this is it. But we're gonna have to try. Mineral scan, energy scan, biological scan. Nothing. Nothing whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be a PODIS. I'm pretty certain. Okay. Ooh, this looks interesting. Water world. Some metals. Biological scan. Okay, at least we can get some stuff here. Oop. What the heck are you? Jesus. Okay. We finally trapped the hideous beast, which has been so hard to capture these past few days. Is this the thing? I swear we emptied our stun battery into that thing over a dozen times before it even slowed down. A few more shots to its barbed head. Maybe there's something different. And it went down, but we had only a few seconds to get it into the magnetic restraint before it started thrashing around again. Even as I make this report, that damn monster is shrieking like a steam engine and trying to tear its way free. This might be it. I hope we know what we are doing, bringing that thing aboard. If it gets free inside the ship, Captain, well, I just don't want to think about it. Return. Folks, this might actually be it. This might actually be it. Let's get the other. Let's get the other biological data here. Is this it? Is this ac was this actually the thing? I could have sworn it was a POTUS. The only reason I took this one was essentially because it was so close to the to the thing itself. You know, it was just like, yeah, that's, that's still a way to fly, so maybe we get closer to that. And we didn't. Instead, go, went here. I hope this is it. This is the thing. I have to. Oops, no, that's not okay. Fine. Um. Let me quickly star map. Which safe game was that? Load game. This was 33. Okay, so if this is not what we're looking for, if this is not the the creature, we're just going to reload the save, and then we're going to go to a Podis. But this seems to be this seems to be the thing. This seems to be the thing. Yeah, I messed this up. That's fine. Get these, the rest of those. Lost a bit of fuel because of it, but hey, such it goes sometimes. I'm gonna take the credit. I'm gonna take the credit. Okay. Okay. This was it. The <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this, <laughs> actually. I think I would have liked it more if it was a POTUS inside of Draconis. That w would have made more sense. Uh, I think about it. Maybe it still is that. I don't know. Uh, okay. Now we have very little, but at least we have something. Vux Beast. Yeah, that is it. That is the beast. Crikey. Okay. Alright, game. Alright. I mean, it wasn't impossible. Like, I, I did it. I found that out, but kind of randomly, I would have, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, um, shit, which one took us to the books? Was it this one? I think it was this one, right? Okay, I'm gonna have to save now. 
But yeah, this is this is the beast that we're looking for. Um, star map. I think this was the one that took us to the... Or not? It was one of these? God, my brain is so bad. I have such... My memory is horrendous. Um... Cracky. Star map. Oh yeah, this was actually it. So where was that guy? I forgot that. Hopefully I made a note. Uh, Vux, 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 Vux. Show fix the... At Alpha Serenkov, yeah. I think that was just on the outer edge of Gamma Myra. Alpha Serenkov, that's it. Okay. So we're gonna go there. We're gonna go there. We're gonna give him his beast. And then we might get the show fixed here. Which is cool. Delta Gorno was where the show fixed were. Yeah, right. Hey, we might actually be able to do this. We might actually be able to do this. Ooh, I'm kind of excited. We're making progress, folks. We're making some progress. If we do the show fixed we might do the Yehad thing next. Okay. Ooh. Alpha Serenkov. General Zex. Where was he? Crikey, I did not note that down. Am I gonna... Sorry, I'm gonna look this up because I'm not gonna look at... I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna search for him again. On which planet are you? Alpha Serenkov 1. Okay. It's usually on the 1 planets. So... That makes sense. All right. Navigate. Let's go there without... It's interesting that those guys are here now. Oh, don't miss. Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. Here we go. Alpha Serenkov. Okay, you're hailing me now. Why am I so blessed, Captain? It is you humans are s you know, I have many pictures of your species. Yeah, you I creep. Keep them on my walls to inspire me. You creep. The hideous monster from Delta Linkus. Let us make make an exchange. Ah, a most excellent piece of news. My chiton rasps and moistens with excitement. Oh, I don't like this. I have been looking forward to this for so long. <laughs> My subordinates stand ready to receive the beast from your ship, Captain. Affect its transfer, and then we shall give you the maidens you desire. All right. Oh, yes. No problem. Even now, my sister, okay. let's not waste time. Okay. I think we... Yeah. Mm. Cap, if I say that the show fixed okay. you will have them shortly. Alright. Should we just give him the beast? Now we can always ah, reload. My new child is on board. Such a big one, isn't he? And so frisky. Oops. I am delighted beyond words that you have given me the beast, Captain. But I am afraid that there has been a slight change in our plans. Regrettable, but necessary. Okay, and we're gonna have to kill him. Beautiful, luscious human. I had thought that the hideous, violent monster you have given me would complete my collection of ugliness, my menagerie of monsters. Oh no. Oh, come on, man. You, my human love, are the most vile, the most fierce, and wretched. My collection could never be complete without you. I need you, Captain. But alas, I fear you will not give your consent willingly. Am I right? Therefore, Sub-Commander Dux, terminate communications, warm up my modified intruder, engage the Precursor Warp Nullifier. <laughs> Ooh. battle! Sub-Commander, why has my main console become inoperative? The transmit mode is locked! What do you mean the central system computer is damaged? How? The beast? A 
Uh, okay. <laughs> Sub Commander, this is impossible. It couldn't escape from our strongest containment system. It's what? Dex 5 and 6? 11 crewmen? Sound the alarms, you fool. Where is it now? Engineering report. Engineering. Sub Commander. Was he his own undoing? Sub Commander, are you listening to me? What are you staring at? Pay attention, Sub Commander. Give me a report on its position. What are you staring at? Okay. So you got yourself eaten, huh? Can we get the maidens now? Yeah, there's energy here. And biology. Okay, so class three, yeah, this is nice redux world. Um Oh yeah, are these the maidens? Report from surface. In the Vax Commander's menagerie, we have found what appears to be functioning cryotanks containing a dozen bipedal creatures. We can't be sure, but through the tanks fogged viewports, we think we can see young show fixity females inside the freezer units. We have transferred the cryotanks to the lander and are returning to the ship. Hell yeah, we got them. We did it, hey. And now that we have the the portal spawner, we could actually do this. You need the portal sp spawner to be able to do this, which is kind of fun. Okay. I mean, you could fly through the entire galaxy, but this would take forever, right? Okay. Awesome. Yeah, I still think it's kind of bull. Bullcrap <laughs> that uh, That the creature was up there. I could have I would have put money on it being inside the draconis thing I, I would have found that better actually sort of just from a That's where I would have put it <laughs> perspective Really the only thing that made me go to the, what was it, like likeness? Not likeness. System first was uh, because, you know, the portal was further away. <laughs> oh well, okay. It's fine, but hey, we did it. We are actually making some real progress here, folks. So let's get that. There's two more creatures, but that's a lot of biological data right there. So we're gonna do this as well. Yeah, yeah, these have a lot. Yeah, okay, awesome. So now that we've done this star map, I forgot where was that? It was down here, right? Delta Gorno? Yeah, Delta Gorno. So I guess. I guess that's it. And these guys are now gone. Interesting. Uh, I don't want to hail them, actually. Maybe maybe we actually do want that. You know what? I'm going to save my game. We haven't talked to any normal Vux. 35. We haven't talked to any normal Vux that are not... Um, that are not the perverts. So... Yeah. So let's try this. Do they look the same? Greetings yeah. from Vox, the last word in life. To gain an intimate knowledge of our engines of war, simply place both hands over your arm. <laughs> Why are you so hostile toward uh, our species? You are even uglier than I Can't you see you are making me sick? <laughs> Please, foul Ooh. creature, turn your head, or better yet, put a sack over it. Never mind, I have adjusted my display so it is dim enough to be tolerable. <laughs> Come on, man. Question. Our response is simple. We must attack you because our masters okay. are on mission, so. Now, if you don't mind, stop. We vuxed do not, and it appears as though your neck is... And you are a jabbering corpse. Ugh. <laughs> okay. Look, vomitous alien. If you want and this to is not going to work out, probably. ...without making them sick. Why don't you go see... Abby? Yeah, that was that. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, about Admiral Zex. About that guy. 
do we need another? Ah, I understand. The first human, okay. The first human encounter, the insult. What more can be said? On that day, your species pr You see, we Voxts, our ability to mm. see beyond. But that insult was so low, so what was totally that insult? reprehensible that we will never forget it. Totally. Yes, to be honest, that event pretty much fixed our attitude setting at a bar. I suspect we... Okay. Uh, probably not. You see, although we Vox are highly would never judge our race solely on its uh, appearance, <laughs> the magnitude of your Captain Rand's insult... Captain Rand? We will pro mm. Nope. I didn't think that would be sufficient. Sorry, but I'm afraid... Okay, that didn't work. Hmm. Maybe we can do something with the bugs, actually. Maybe we can actually make a proper apology. Uh, okay. I mean, I did save. Let's see about you. Okay. Don't know what your weapons are. Oh, did I hit the planet? I think I hit the planet, didn't I? Okay, so these are sort of short-range lasers, but they seem to be fine to fight. There we go. Huh? Well, there's a few resource units, I guess. Okay, uh, now they're all following me. They all want to murder me, which I get. Um, let's go to hyperspace. Star map. Um, Delta Gorno. Let's go there. It's probably quicker than to, or like less fuel than to do the, the full on travels. I guess. I don't know. We're going to use the thing to get back to Earth, I think. I think we're probably just going to buy fuel from the Mel Norme. So... Okay. Let's see, let's meet our friend. What was it? What was he called? I forgot what he was called, but uh, yeah, let's bring him the females. And then, well, unspeakable things will happen. And then, I guess, I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna work. Um, okay, now we need to find him, though. We haven't been here in years, I think, so it's gonna be interesting. Where are you? Where are you, buddy? Buddy, where are you? No? Oh, Christ. I hope I can find him again. Oh, there there he was. There he was. What was that to that? He went there, right? Il Come on. Here you, here you are. Hey, buddy! Greetings, Captain! It is good to see you again! Yeah, it is. I have an important duty for you to perform. Tanaka, right. What might that be? <laughs> what would you think about procreating wildly? Okay. Uh What might that be? I am intrigued, Captain. But what are you talking about? You're gonna have some fun in the future. This is a bit weird. This is a bit strange. To rat babes galore. Great reaping miles of happiness! <laughs> of course, yeah. But you're gonna have to do this. I have been granted the ultimate reward. Uh, oh god. This, this, this is a bit strange. We'll take this to 50 million to possess. Since we wake them. And oh. then perform ribald feats of unsurpassed fertility. With their consent, of course. Okay. 
I mean... Your name shall be recorded in our most sacred writings for all time. <laughs> Thank you, Captain, and farewell. I have urgent business to attend to. You have, yeah. So, have fun. Okay, um, at least they did mention consent there. So, I guess I'm a bit glad that at least that was... Okay, yeah, you, you're, just, you're just flying away, buddy. So, okay. Yeah, at least Tanaka did mention consent. Okay. I guess that's that. I guess we're just gonna have to wait then for a bit, huh? So that's the show fixedy. That's the show fixedy. I might make this a shorter video because I think this might be a good. We're gonna go back to Earth. Um, I'm gonna go back to Earth real quick. I think it was this one. Uh, also, save the game. All right, I think it was this one. Uh, we're gonna go back to Earth real quick. We're gonna replenish, we're gonna talk, I don't know. Where am I? Is that it? Yes, that was it. There we go, soul system. Um, so we're gonna do that, and I think I'm going to call it a day here, because I think this is a good place to end. We could do the whole siren thing, but that might be a whole thing, and I kind of don't want to stop in the middle of that, so... Uh, yeah, I think this is good. This is good. This is great. This was a good. This was a good. A good session. Okay, so let's go here. I hope the battle fares well, Captain. Okay, you have no news, but okay. Are we just gonna have? Light this time. Yeah, light load. I know. We shall um. Are we just gonna meet? Yeah, fuel. I wonder if we should use credits. I wonder if we should use credits. I mean... We don't really need the resource units for much else, I guess, so it might be fine. We haven't really mined anything as well. Um, we do need the resource units for crew then, though. Out f no, shipyard. Okay, crew. Yeah, crap. Maybe we should actually start... Uh, I mean, that's not a lot of your resource units, though. Ah, it's okay. Maybe we should actually start getting... Okay, that is the Zog font. Um... Oh yeah, how did that work? How much do we get from... Scrapping it. Not that much. Okay. We could probably at some point get rid of a few of these. Um, I think we're probably also going to have to wait until the sh until Tanaka has done the deed. <laughs> and then... Uh, yeah, once they have repopulated. Which I guess is really quick. Like... I guess that goes quickly, um, or something, I guess, within a few months or something, I don't know. Should be, right? In the scope of this game. In any case, uh, so we're gonna... We're gonna wait for that, and then we're gonna do the Yehat, I guess, right? With the newly reborn show fixed. I think that was the thing, I think we had to tell them to... That there are show fixed, but maybe we need to wait until they are actually reborn. We're not going to do that just yet, or take that trip just yet. Um, or maybe I should have gone there immediately and just tried it. Ah, we're gonna see. In any case, um, so we did that. Next time, we're gonna do the Yehat thing. We're gonna think about how this all works. We're gonna do the Yehat thing. We're gonna do the Siren thing. For which we're gonna have to go to Beetlejuice. And is there anything else? There's still the Umgar thing. We're gonna have to think about the Umgar. First of all, we're gonna maybe have to try to revert the programming of the Illrath with the caster. 
And we're maybe gonna have to get the talking pet from them. From the Amgar. And there's also the Ors and the Androsynth. Which we're maybe are gonna have to check out. Is there anything else that we know? It was the Mycon, but I have no idea about those, really. Thradash. Oh, the Thradash are, are at Draconis. We can make them as friends by killing them. Oh, this is something we can do next time as well, the Thradash. Um, and there's a sacred relic at Zeta Draconis. Homeworld at, at Delta Draconi. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Make them as friends by killing them. I think that is something that somebody has told me. Either it was the Melnome or the the Arilu, I guess. Yeah, that is something for next time. Okay, I'm going to make a little to-do list for next stream. So, we're gonna do to do Cyrene Yehat Thradash. So I guess the um, that's the thing at uh, up there at Draconis. Hey, I might have almost done that. We might have actually done the Thradash thing if I actually went there. Interesting. Okay. Check with Showfixty, I guess. Or let's put that under Yehat. Check with. And ye had. Okay, I guess that's what we're gonna do next time. So, um, thank you for watching, everybody. Yeah, this was a, sh a bit shorter one, just one hour, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. We learned a lot of stuff. We learned a lot about the Ur the Urquan and the Kora and sort of the big conflict in this. I think we're kind of getting somewhere. We're kind of getting somewhere. We're starting to build alliances and uh, other weird things, I guess. But uh, yeah. That's great. Cool. I feel like we've we've made some progress. So that is awesome. Oops, Daisy. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Ran to the wrong thing. Okay, here we go. Thanks folks for watching and see you again next time. Bye bye.